Scattered storms have been common in Kelloland lately, but the high humidity that we normally expect this time of year hasn't been a big factor yet. Meteorologist Brian Carson tells us if that could be changing in the days ahead. Mid-July is typically known for a lot of heat and a lot of humidity. Now certainly hot days have made an appearance here in Kelloland, but high humidity has been lacking so far this season. Wet weather and severe storms have been plentiful in western Ketherland the past few weeks. Even morning hail fell at Terry Peak, a sign of how strong some of these storms can be even during the early morning hours. Meanwhile, it's a mixed bag of scattered storms that have been crossing areas East River. The lack of consistent deep humidity in the lower part of the atmosphere has a lot to do with the sporadic rainfall patterns. Sioux Falls has only managed to have a tropical dew point above 70 degrees one time this season, and that was on July 3rd. The dew point only stayed above 70 for about two hours. On many occasions, it's very common for Sioux Falls to have several days in the summer with tropical dew points well into the 70s, especially in July. That could change next week. We are getting stronger signals that hotter and more humid weather will gather steam to our south. Dew points near 80 are forecast near Omaha about a week out. Now that could also have a direct impact on storm chances next week, so we'll be keeping track of that. For Kettleland Weather, I'm meteorologist Brian Karstens.